So exception for small business taxpayers though. So if you are a small business taxpayer, you can choose not to keep an inventory, but you must still use a method of accounting for inventory that clearly reflects income. So now they're saying there could be certain situations where, where possibly you have inventory that you're selling, but they're not requiring you to track inventory. Possibly you're not holding on to a lot of inventory. You have a just-in-time uh, kind of system. You purchase the inventory or you make something quickly and then sell it. Therefore, there's not a huge timing difference between you know, when the inventory is purchased or, or made and when you sell it. And so it might not be worth the complication in that case of tracking the inventory. And so so you might fall into that kind of category. So if you choose not to keep an inventory, uh, you won't be treated as failing to clearly reflect income if your method of accounting for inventory treats inventory as non-incidental material or supplies or conforms to your financial accounting treatment of inventory. If, however, you choose to keep an inventory, you must generally use an accrual method of accounting and value the inventory uh, each year to determine your cost of goods sold in part three. So if you have inventory that you're tracking, it's substantial to the business. You, you can't just expense it when you purchase or make the inventory because you might be holding on to a significant amount of it and that would greatly distort your income uh, reporting in the proper year. Then of course, you're gonna have to put it on the books as an asset and you're gonna have to try to calculate the, the inventory and you might need a cost of goods sold calculation or at least for the schedule c you'll have to do a cost of goods sold calculation which means you're going to have to calculate the income for at least the beginning of the year uh, and uh, the end of the year so small business taxpayers uh, you qualify as a small business taxpayer if you a have average annual gross receipts of 29 29 million dollars or less uh, for the three prior tax years and B are not a tax shelter as defined in section 448D3. If your business has not been in existence for at least three tax year period used in figuring average gross receipt based on your average on the period it has existed. So in other words, we have this three year thing. What if I haven't been in business for three years? Well, then you can base average on the period it has existed. So, and if your business has a uh, predecessor entity 